Here rhyming words are there. Rod and pot. Okay. So sometimes clouds make noise. It is thundering. It is making sound. Have you listened it? Okay. Sometimes they pour. Sometimes it's rain. Sometimes clouds rain. Sometimes they thunder. Some. Sometimes they thunder, spreading the colors. Sometimes they are making thunder. Thunder means listen the voice of thundering. Yes, thundering and lightning, making lights and thundering. So we are uh, at that time we are getting too much joy. But you know why clouds are thundering and lightning? Peacock also dancing. Peacock also start dancing and. People get joy. Spreading the colors. And have you seen rainbow into the sky? After raining, while it is stop, you can see the rainbow into the sky. Suppose sun in the direction of west. Suppose sun is in west direction, and at that time you can see rainbow on the east. After raining, you can see rainbow into the sky. Suppose at that time sun is in west, then you can see rainbow into east. Okay, you can see rainbow into opposite direction of sun. Okay, so spreading the colors in a rainbow of wonder, wonderful way. It is spreading color in wonderful way. There are seven colors into the rainbow. There are seven colors in the rainbow. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Okay, so you have to keep in your mind that. Like, see another hot part. And sometimes they have, then three sandal leaves. Have. Have means, and sometimes they have. Have means, have you listened about snowfall? Sometimes rain is falling in the form of snow. Okay, so and sometimes they have the trees say the leaves and due to the hair, the leaves of a tree fall down. It is called shed. The clouds arrive in a magic pack, white and black. So we can say that the clouds arrive in a magic pack and clouds are white and black. Students, I hope you enjoyed that poem very much. So here we come to know that how rain is falling on the earth. We should try to understand how rain falling on the earth. So students, here we learn rain is the rain is main source of water. Okay, we get all water. Its main source is water its main source is rain whatever water we are getting from any way its main source is water now how water is pouring on earth and how we are getting water let's understand that process with water cycle okay before learning water cycle we understood we uh, we get some information about it okay how it happened Okay, there are so many water bodies on the earth and that water body gets light of sun and due to the heat of sun, the water from water bodies get evaporated. Evaporated means change, water changes its form, its form. In water bodies, water is remain in a liquid form but when they get heat from the sun, it will be evaporated and it will be converted into vapor. Water converted into vapor. Now, you know that vapors are going upstairs into the sky. It rises into the sky. And while it is rising into the sky, it gets or it merged with some dust particles and other objects into the sky and it forms clouds. Before making clouds, water vapor uh, condense. Water vapor condense on the particles of dust and make clouds. Now, what is the meaning of condensation? 
वाटर वेपर कन्वर्टेड इनटू स्नो फॉर्म ओके लाइक यू विल सी हियर हियर सन इज देयर वाटर बॉडीज माउंटेन्स एंड आवर एटमॉस्फेयर ओके सो व्हेन वाटर बॉडी गेट्स हीट फ्रॉम द सन वाटर टर्न इनटू वेपर due to the sunlight due to the heat of sun water get evaporated and it converted into vapor and vapor goes upside into the sky vapor rise and goes into the sky and it mix with dust particle and it form clouds here vapors are Condense means here vapor is converted into liquid form again, and it mix with dust particle and make clouds like this. Okay, here vapor change into water. After some time, clouds burst and fall on the earth as a rain. Clouds burst and fall. as the rain on the earth like this way here you can see okay and okay here the rain is fall on the earth and you all know when rain is falling on the earth the water of rain is goes into the water bodies like a river lake pond okay ocean seas it will store or it will the water of the water of rain is goes into the water bodies and this cycle again will happen it is called water cycle okay due to the heat of sun water gets converted into vapor and vapor rise into the sky it condenses it mix here with dust particle and after some times clouds burst and fall as a rain on the earth this cycle is called water cycle okay i hope you understood it very well children love to bath into the rain do you like it children like to bath in the rain sometimes you also making paper boat and uh, zoning into the water of rain are you doing it yes when, yes when i was old i am making paper boat and i am floating it on water of the day okay it is very uh, enjoyable moment you know peacock dance when rain comes yes i have explained in the poem peacock also dance when rains are come but sometimes due to the heavy rain people are facing some problems of living or residents okay. okay on the basis of that poem let's we will answer some questions let's we will solve some exercise okay guys answer the following questions first one is explain the water cycle student just we learn what is called water cycle how it is happening okay let's see okay explain the water cycle answer due to the heat of the sun water of the earth get evaporated we know it that means that is water change into vapor water change into vapor due to the heat of the sun this water vapor condenses and form clouds water change into vapor this water vapor condenses and form clouds that is vapor change into water cloud burst and fall on the earth as a rain cloud burst and fall on the earth as a rain this cycle goes on and on in the nature and is called the water cycle this process continuously happening into the nature and this cycle is called the water cycle okay i hope you understood it very well let's and give it one size write it okay next questions 
how is rainbow form? How is rainbow form? Let's see. Okay. How is rainbow form? Rainbow is form when sunlight passes through the raindrops present in the air. After they whichever water drops are present in the air from that sunlight are passed and it form rainbow okay so rainbow is formed when sunlight pass through sunlight passes through the raindrops present in the air okay so let's we'll see next question number 3 what do you think would happen if there is no rain if there is no rain then what will happen you all know the level of well stream and goes down we are facing problem of water scarcity okay uh, there will be drought that there will be drought situation is happen okay people are wondering for water people are uh, facing very difficulty without rain people and farmers are suffer too many difficulties for their field plants also dry okay and all living things are worried about their life so here in that questions you can write the whole answer what do you think would happen if there is a no rain here i am writing answer according to my view you can write your answer also okay rivers lake and streams will dry water level of wells and wells goes deep there are what goes deep there are water scarcity and food scarcity also okay uh, animals also getting too much difficulty for survival on the earth right we will see another next exercise next exercise fill in the blanks fill in the blanks okay first one is changes of water into water vapor on heating is called what we can call it it is evaporated it is evaporating so changes of water into water vapor on heating is called evaporation e v a p o r a t i o n changes of water into water vapor on heating is called evaporation second one change of water vapor into water on cooling is called what we can call it condensation what condensation c o n d e n s a t i o n condensation blank is the main source of water you all know what is answer rain rain is the main source of water so we are writing here rain rain is the main source of water fourth one there are blank colors in a rainbow there are blank colors in a rainbow how many colors yes seven there are seven colors in a rainbow fifth one blank dance in the rain who will dance yes peacock peacock dance in the rain okay let's we will see another exercise okay next exercise color the picture of rainbow given here here you have to color the picture of rainbow fill color in it okay yes fill that seven color and write the name here down side seven names of color okay students i hope you will get complete knowledge about water cycle rainbow how it is formed how rain is falling on the earth okay let's 
here i am ending that lessons i hope you will enjoy it very well let's we will meet in next video thank you and have a nice day bye